welcome to biochemistry dsp channel today i'll be discussing about bromosulfthalein excretion test and rose bengal dye excretion test so these two uh, excretion test will assess the uh, ability of the liver to excrete these dyes okay so this test will be based on the excretory function of liver bsp excretion test or bromosulfthalein excretion test so this is a dye uh, that is a non toxic dye which gets excreted only in the liver so uh, the basic principle involved in this bsp retention test is uh, the ability of the liver to excrete these dyes like bsp and rose bengal will be utilized for this test uh, this uh, non toxic dye will be uh mostly excreted by liver through bile it gets eliminated from blood okay uh, by various by the mechanism of uptake conjugation and excretion as in the case of bilirubin okay so conjugation is a basic reaction with this test this test is performed to assess the excretory function of liver okay so the procedure involved in this uh, excretion test is 5 mg per kg body weight of uh, bsp okay 5 mg of bsp uh, will be injected intravenously to the patient and uh, two samples uh, 5 ml to 10 ml of uh, blood should be withdrawn at uh, for 25 minutes and 45 minutes okay after injection of this dye then you have to determine the amount of this dye present okay by using calorimeter experiment normally what will happen means uh, 10 to 15% of the dye will be removed within uh, within minute okay uh, during hepatic damage uh, this bsp removal will get impaired so that is the basic principle here okay uh, this is the thing so um, not more than 5% of the day dye should remain in the blood at the end of 45 minutes so that means it's normal healthy individual okay so a normal interpretation is this like this only mostly that is 85% of the dye should be eliminated within the first 25 minutes and remaining in the next 25 minutes that is within 45 minutes not more than 5% of the dye should remain in the blood that is the condition for normal healthy subject uh, during the liver damages like cirrhosis obstructive jaundice uh, in that cases 40 to 50% of the dye will be retained uh, in the 45 minutes sample okay so this a uh, test okay so uh, this test will be mostly useful for the diagnosis of liver damage without obstructive jaundice okay and chronic hepatitis and it is also helpful to diagnose jubin johnson syndrome uh, this test is of no value in the case of obstructive jaundice okay so uh, this test will be most useful to indicate liver damage without jaundice in cirrhosis of liver as well as uh, it helps to diagnose the chronic hepatitis so this is one of the a test which will indicate the excretory function of liver next one more test is there uh, which can also assess the excretory function of liver that is the rose bengal dye test so in the rose bengal dye test uh, what's the procedure involved means uh, 10 ml of 1% solution of the rose bengal dye should be injected intravenously to the patient very slowly uh, here the interpretation will be uh, in uh, in the case of normal persons 50% or more of the dye will be eliminated within 8 minutes okay so this is a basic principle involved in rose bengal dye so this uh, test is also helpful to uh, assess the excretory function of liver okay thank you thank you for watching this video subscribe and support the channel biochemistry dsp